Hello everyone, this is Juni and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a tutorial on lighting. Now before I get started, here are some of the brushes that I use in this video. I'm also only showing the brushes that I've adjusted settings to. Additionally, I am not like an expert on lighting. And so my lighting isn't 100% accurate because it's based on my perceptions of where light hits. But I also want to say that I think I have a basic understanding of light. And after over 10 years of doing art, I think I am comfortable enough to share my knowledge and skills with you guys on lighting. Hopefully, I'll be able to put the things that I'm about to show you guys into words because I'm really bad at explaining things. Anyways, moving on. Different lighting can enhance the way your artwork looks by making it look more interesting. It sets the mood and atmosphere into your artwork. The first one that I'm going to demonstrate is a light hitting the side of a face. For this one, I'm going to go with a warmer tone. What I've done so far was putting down the base colors for the hair, skin, and background. I did a simple background using the airbrush. Going back to the skin layer, I marked Protect Alpha and I applied a darker, warm shade onto the back using the airbrush. Then I switched to a lavender color and applied that between the dark tone and the orange tone to create roundness. I did a similar thing to the hair. Once I'm done with that, I added a new layer above the skin layer. I marked clipping for the new layer to apply the highlight onto the base color of the skin. This just makes it a lot easier for me to clean and detail. Going back to the base color, I switch to an airbrush and paint over the area near the highlight with a warmer shade. So after applying the lights, I'm going to clean him up a little bit just to make him look more presentable. So I'm going to redefine his structures with the airbrush and the watercolor brush. But I'm not going to spend that much time cleaning him up and detailing. But I hope that I can still make my points across without doing so. I also did a hair tutorial on a separate video, so I'm going to speed this part up.
Moving on to the last one, this one is more of a cool tone with light coming from below. Here I'm just unmarking the warm layers from the first example and then duplicating it so that I can use the duplicate layers for the second example just to save time. I first changed the background to a navy blue color. I used the eyedropper to capture the lavender or the darker tone of his face and apply that over the warmer tone of the previous example. I did the same thing to his hair which I used eyedropper to capture the darker or the grayish tone of his hair and apply that over the orange part of his hair to remove that warm tone. The next thing that I did was add in a new layer above the skin layer. This one will be focusing on adding highlights to his face. Using the airbrush, I picked a lightish blue slash purplish tone and apply it on these highlight areas. Also note that I'm also adding highlights to the ends of his hair. Now I'm also just going to redefine his structures again in this example and clean him up a little bit just to make him look more neat.